Crippling loneliness is the cornerstone of any good blues musician. And we are going to assume that you are so bluesy that even your looper pedal has up and left you. So what do you do when you can't lay down a rhythm track to practice your blues licks? We're going to talk about, when in doubt, always minor pentatonic. So what I mean by that is we're going to do a basic 12 bar blues thing, and we're going to cut in half the chord part and the lead lick practicing part with the minor pentatonic scale, right? So what we're going to do is do something in the key of E minor. So the blues in E would be another way, or the blues in E minor would be another way to look at it, right? So the chords would be, the first chord would be E minor, and we do this for four bars in a 12 bar blues pattern. Then we have A minor for two bars, E minor for two bars. B minor for one bar, A minor for one bar, and then E minor for two bars, okay? So uh, how we're gonna do this is we're going to assign the exact same minor pentatonic scale for each of these three chords. So the E minor one, we're gonna play down here by the 12th fret. So this is gonna be the E minor pentatonic scale we're gonna jump to. And you probably already know this, but it's gonna be 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. And this shape, we're gonna repeat the exact same shape for all three of these chords. So when we go to the A minor, we're gonna do the exact same scale, but we're gonna do it on A minor. So the A is the fifth fret of the E string. Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. And when we get to the B minor, we're gonna do the same thing in A minor, but just up two frets to the B. So the, the B on the E string is the seventh fret. Seven, ten, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, ten, seven, ten. So how we're gonna do this, instead of playing like a backing track like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and back, we are going to cut in half each of these bars, the first half being the chord, the second half being a pentatonic riff. So we're gonna start with the E minor. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna have two beats of the chord, one, two, into the pentatonic shape. All right, and then we're gonna repeat that. One, two, and we're just gonna do a really simple lick in, from the E minor pentatonic scale that starts on the G string with a bend to the 10th fret, right? So the first part of the lick again is we're gonna slide into the octave E, which is the D string 14. So this is gonna be like the first lick. E minor, then back to E minor, and again that right there is just a bend on the G string, ring finger, back, pointer finger, all on this one string. So again, first lick, second lick. Okay, so that's going to replace kind of the backing track. We're kind of bringing them both in together. So now when we switch chords to the A minor, we're going to do the exact same thing, except we're going to do it in A minor pentatonic spot, right? So now we're dealing with this area of the neck right here. We're going to do the same thing for the first bar and then for the second bar. So we've got... And then when we get to B minor spot, we do the exact same thing, but we start on the B minor pentatonic scale. So B minor. So now let's put them all together and create kind of like a 12 bar blues thing, just using the exact same pentatonic scale, albeit rooted on the note of the chord that we're kind of soloing over, however you wanna look at it. So we start with the E. Second bar. Third bar, fourth bar, to the A part, the second bar there, to E, the second bar there, to the B minor part, to the A minor part, to the E. So again, this is just a really simple pattern that you can use, and this isn't gonna be the way you practice it like the entire time, but it's just to show you that any kind of little lick you can throw in between there. Now, once you kind of get that down and you can make the connection of the chord and the pentatonic scale, then you can kind of get a little fancier. So instead of doing the same thing every time,
And again, that's all from the same thing. Then when you go to the A. And again, all that was just jumping from one chord into its pentatonic scale. You can practice that however you want, but really the fundamental idea is being able to connect a scale with a chord and then taking that bar that we're already kind of familiar with in a 12 bar blues thing and then just kind of throwing them together. And this might not be the most efficient way to do it because we're actually covering a lot of ground. Sometimes that can sound cool because you get a sliding effect like you're traveling in a pretty long distance. Other times you might want to do something closer by like for the E minor pentatonic scale up here, you could do the same thing. Again, so that would be a more efficient way to do it, but this is just an example of how you can just connect different shapes all around the neck into a 12-bar blues pattern.